What's good, y'all? So if you're someone that releases content on Spotify, so for those of you that are podcasters or you release music, so if you're a singer-songwriter, a rapper, a musician, producer, etc., whatever, I'm sure at some point you've seen these graphics that people post on their social media, whether it's regular posts or in their stories, and they generally look like this, like this, or like this. Well, there comes a point where you start wondering like, yo, where are people getting these Spotify graphics from? And how can I get one? Does it cost anything? Go ahead and stop right there because your boy Sarge is here to help out. So let's have the discussion. Today, I want to talk to you guys about how you can easily get your own Spotify promotional, uh, Spotify promotion card and graphic for free. No joke, for free. And today, we're going to talk about it. All right, bet. So first things first, we got to go ahead and show some love to the sponsors because without them, man, this ain't even possible. It's not even possible for real. And also be sure to hit that like button on this video. Go ahead, hit that like button and hit the subscribe button so you guys get notified every time there's some dope new content coming out. Now, let's go ahead and get into the Spotify stuff, the stuff that you really, really care about. Let's get it. All right, guys, so let's do it. As you can tell, we have our promo cards for Spotify. In order to get to this spot, all you have to do is either check the link in the description of this video, or you can get there via your Spotify for Artist account. And all you're gonna have to do is scroll down just a little bit and you'll see where it says promo cards, create personalized promo cards, and then you just click get started. For those of you that have no idea what a Spotify for Artist uh, account is or why you even need one, you need to watch the video at the top right of your screen, trust me on that now let's go ahead and get started and dive in okay so we're here and it's already asking us artists right so you can either just type in your artist name for me i'm gonna type in my homie seti mac and as it loads up look at that you see a clean cut seti mac right with the spotify listen on spotify it looks dope it looks clean all right so all you're gonna do is click customize and as you can tell already there are a variety of colors to choose from uh, that will instantly change the background now some of you will notice as I'm changing colors and maybe as you're changing colors you're noticing that this is continuing to pop but for some of you you're gonna feel frustrated like oh, some of these colors don't look right well his picture in particular is black and white and black and white just pops more with different colors i mean look at look at the green look at the green so if you feel like it's it doesn't look as good as you know you want it to look try uh you know putting a filter over your picture and and, and using a picture that's black and white on your spotify profile now looking at the sizes right let's say you wanted to use uh your picture for your facebook or instagram feed then then there you go if you want to use a, you know if you want to put it in portrait mode and use it for stories then here there you go and look at this super clean looks nice easy easy work and then when you're done you just go you just click share and then let it load up and then it'll say download file at the bottom and it'll also have two links one for twitter and one for facebook as well now, let me back up because I want to show you guys something and I don't want to skip over it because we chose the artist option, but you can also, you know, select the album or song option. So any album EP that you've released, any mixtape, any singles that you've released, you can also use it as uh, as a promotional uh, piece, a promo card. And the cool thing about it is when you click on it, it actually lists your songs by the ones that are streamed and listened to the most on Spotify, not necessarily by what was the last one you released. But when you find the one that you wanna do a card for, you just click on it and as you can tell, it changes. Still looks just as good, looks just as clean. And even with these cards, you can also change the color and size for. Now, there is one more cool little thing I want to I want to show you guys. Um, so this time, I am actually going to type in my name. Okay, there we go. I see Mike Sarge, so I'm going to make sure that I click on it. 
And once I've clicked on it, then I'm going to make sure that I click on customize. And just like, the, you know, what says I can change the background if I want to, but there is an, an additional option on mine that says milestone and certain artists do have this. And as you can tell, one of the major milestones uh, that I had was that I hit 1000 followers and this is a Spotify milestone. So oh, how can I make that pop a little more? Well, mm, you know what? Maybe I want to change this color up a little bit. Yeah, I'm really feeling that red. So you can't you can't ignore it. You feel me? You can't ignore that red. All right. So since we got the red and then I can I can change the size and, and make it into a story if I want to share it with uh, my Instagram following. Right. And then bada bing, bada boom. It looks really, really good. And like I said, guys, this is easy work this isn't difficult what do you guys think about this do you feel like this video was helpful if so you guys already know the deal go ahead and hit that like button then hit that subscribe button so you guys get notified every time i drop a new video also if there's a particular topic you want me to talk about go ahead and let me know and i will get back to y'all asap and as always be you enjoy your life and live authentic salute to that and i'll catch y'all later